you know what? I sometimes look at other dog owners and think, what's going on up in your melon? You know, what's rattling around up there when you're out on your jolly little walks? Now, my dog is very rarely on a leash. She doesn't need to be. We'll have cyclists come along here. We'll have horse riders. We'll have joggers. I simply call her over. She comes to my side. She sits down and we let them pass. And then she goes off on her merry little way again. I'll be walking along a dirt track. And in front of me will be some big burly bloke with his dog on a leash and they just stop dead and stare at you for ages and you're like what and you can see it you can see it in their minds what do I do which way do I go <laughs> now nobody knows their dog more than the owner right apparently not so of course I give her a yell calls her over we move into the side of the grass verge and I let them past now, bear in mind his dog's on a leash, and it's not a very big dog. But he's battling to, like, it's like a battle of weights. And, and, and you're like, if you know your dog's like that, why have you not got it pulled in by your side anyway to start with? I mean, Flower, you look strong enough to be able to hold on to a dog. Some of them look like they can't even hold in a fart. You can be nice and friendly to your doggy. And give it lots of treats and be cuddly woodly and everything but you also need to learn to assert your dominance at times that need it because quite frankly when you're standing there trying to pull back a dog you just look like a fucking divvy you really do considering the fact that even your ears look like they had fucking muscles i'm a gen xer and there was nothing more attractive back in my day than a man that had control 2024. Blokes these days, Christ, I've seen harder eunuchs.